If you were given a chance to do makeup on K-pop idols, who would it be? Are you a makeup artist? Makeup은 독학인가요? Have you had fails in transforming into celebrities with your makeup? Have you been noticed by the K-pop idols you try to recreate their makeup? Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Today, I will be doing a Q&A video! I've been meaning to do Q&A video for a really long time. I asked you guys a question to ask me all the Q&A on Instagram and also on YouTube as well. I got a bunch of good questions to answer for you guys. Also, I've been getting so many subscribers on YouTube recently because my shorts have been blowing up. So thank you so much for all the love. I literally go through all the comments. You guys are so sweet. Love you all. I've been gaining a lot of Korean subscribers as well so I will be kind of jumping back and forth like English to Korean because I do have some Korean questions that I want to answer as well Without further ado, let's dive right into Q&A questions How old are you? I am 26 guys How tall are you? I'm like 167 centimeter. What's your MBTI? ESF what do you do for work? Are you a makeup artist? I am actually not a makeup artist. I do something completely different from beauty field. I'm actually an optometrist working in medical field. When did you start doing makeup? I think it was when I went to college because I started cosplaying. In order for you to cosplay, you need to know how to obviously wear makeup to look like the anime characters. If you were given a chance to do makeup on K-pop idols, who would it be? Choose one girl and one boy. Mm, this is kind of hard. I think for boy, I would choose Yeonjun because he's like the type who can pull off all different types of makeup styles so it will be really fun to experiment on him. But Yeonjun, if you see this, please notice me. For girl, I think I want to try doing makeup on Karina. Karina has like a very defined face shape and I think she can be both like cute but look really mature and sexy at the same time so I think it'll be fun to experiment as well 메이크업은 독학인가요? 제대로 배운 적은 한 번도 없고 그냥 집에서 그냥 보고 따라하고 아니면 유튜브 튜토리얼 이렇게 같은 거 보면서 배우고 그래요 그러니까 혼자서 배운 겁니다 Have you received any hate comments till this 45k journey? Of course! Oh my god! I think when I first started social media I had some nights when I was crying in bed because I was so upset with these hate comments. Some of the people can be very rude and it's just very insane how these people just don't think before they type. Now it's better because I have established platform and a lot of fans as well. Which makeup look was the hardest to do? Which one was the easiest? I think the hardest one was Jisoo. It's kind of funny because the more makeup a celebrity has, it's actually easier to do versus celebrities who wear barely any makeup. Like Jisoo was kind of hard to do because she doesn't wear that much makeup in the drama called Snowdrop. So I had to really study her features versus like Jessie. It wasn't as hard since she wears makeup to define her facial features. The easiest was not Jessie but um, Hyuna was the easiest because I have similar facial features with Hyuna. Whenever I did Hyuna's makeup, I could really look like her without even trying. Have you been noticed by the K-pop idols you try to recreate their makeup? Yes. <laughs> Jessie actually posted my makeup cover of her on her story and she also commented on my TikTok. I love you, Jessie. What inspired you to join YouTube? Every time when I post makeup videos on TikTok, a lot of you guys were, you know, commenting that they want to see a full tutorial. And I was always scared to start YouTube since I didn't know how to edit at all. And it just seemed very time consuming. But I sat down one day, I was like, you know, I can't wait any longer. You guys really wanted to see the tutorial and I wanted to experiment making YouTube videos as well. Did you get inspired by someone to start doing makeup? I think it was Pony. Pony is a famous Korean makeup artist. I used to watch her YouTube videos a lot when I was younger and I thought she was so cool and I wanted to you know, do makeup well like her. So she inspired me the most in terms of starting doing makeup. 언니 외국에 사시나요? 네, 저는 어렸을 때 캐나다로 이민 가서 지금 현재는 
미국에서 직장을 찾아서 미국에서 일하고 있습니다. What tips or advice do you have for beginners for starting up social media pages and want to grow their pages? My number one tip is get out there now and start making content. A lot of people are kind of afraid and shy at the same time to you know, be a content creator. But you know, it's very important that if you want to be a social media influencer or a content creator, then you really need to get out there and express your creativity. And secondly, you need to find your niche. Finding a niche is very important. And that's something that I struggled with in the beginning too. But you'll start making a lot of different content and whatever blows up might be your niche because that's what other people want to see from you. The look of first K-pop idol you tried on yourself and your reaction after knowing that looks like that idol you're doing makeup of. The first K-pop idol that I tried was the, the half and half, the Jenny and then twice. I think I did Nayeon. That time I thought I didn't really look like them but there was a time when I was like, oh my god, like I really look like that person is when I did Yara and Jesse. <laughs> when you're doing makeup, you don't really notice it. And I cover half of my face and I look in the mirror and I was like, oh my god, like Yara, is that you? I actually look like her. I was so shook, guys. How do you stay motivated when you're down? I try to take time off. I have a full-time job and on top of that, I am like a part-time content creator as well. So it's a lot on me sometimes and there are times when I just want to give up everything. Whenever those times come, I just tell myself, hey, maybe this is the time for me to just take a break. During those times, I just stay away from my phone and do things that I like, you know, like watch videos, like eat good food, like talk to your friend. And when I feel ready, then I go back to posting contents again. When I'm down, I just try to take time off and then really have time for myself so I can make self-improvements and also reflect on why I'm feeling down and kind of reevaluate everything. Are there any other content ideas you want to try? If so, which ones? I really want to do one where I wear makeup as a K-pop idol and then just walk around the city but it's kind of hard because of COVID since I have to wear a mask everywhere so I'm just trying to wait until the mask mandate gets relaxed more How did you discover that you have a talent for doing makeup? It's when I started cosplaying and I cosplayed as Levi once my makeup for Levi was fire guys it was so good like when i went to the anime convention center everyone wanted to take pictures with me and i knew i looked like levi and i was feeling like so hot what are your biggest goals as a makeup artist i want to start my own makeup brand i've been brainstorming few ideas like here and there but it's just a matter of actually starting to make one that's my ultimate goal. I want to really have my own line of makeup so I can personalize everything. I think it will be really fun. What is something you wish more people knew about you? I wish people knew more about my personality because I do think I'm really funny. <laughs> I think that's why I try to make more vlogs that are not makeup related because I just want you guys to know me more. Not know me as a person who's good at doing makeup, but know me as someone who's really fun, who's really down to earth. It's a great person. How do you pick up all the details from the faces to make your face similar to them? What I do is that I save a bunch of pictures before I do makeup cover of someone and really try to study like each very important structure so like eyes, nose, and lips, and eyebrows Usually eyes and eyebrows are really important because they can really change the whole shape of the face What is the best thing or part of being you? I'm an all-rounder I am working in a medical field, but also I'm a social media influencer and I can do makeup really well. I think that's the best part of being me. I can do everything that I want. Well, not everything obviously, but most of the things. I do think I'm very talented. Have you had fails in transforming into celebrities with your makeup? If so, who and show it? Haha. <laughs> I did fail before and you know, it's very frustrating if I fail since I have to film the whole thing over again and I failed doing some me actually I did a half and half some me and CL makeup and 
I felt doing the Sunmi look. That time when I the seal one looked fine, but when I did Sunmi, it did not look like her. So I had to do her again, and unfortunately, I do not have the video of the one that I messed up on. So the Sunmi side that you see is actually the next day, and on the other half, there is like nothing on. How do you stay motivated to become an eye doctor? I think it's because of my parents. So as an immigrant family, I wanted to become successful since I know how hard my parents worked for me to just get education. So I just wanted to exceed their expectations. So I think that was my number one motivation. Reason behind your flawless skin. It's all filter guys. Did you get plastic surgery? No, I did not. A lot of you guys asked me about my eyes before, whether I got double eyelid surgery done. If I did, I wouldn't be putting double eyelid tape in on. I have uneven eyelids, so I have to put on tape. Mostly, I'm wearing like double eyelid tape right now too. 